the way the series went without you being out on the floor. It's always tough. You know what I mean? But you, it is what it is. Was that, how close were you getting to coming back? Because clearly you were doing some pre-game workouts. You, the workouts seemed to be getting even more and more thorough. How close were you to getting back out there? I was getting close, but it's, it don't matter now. Is it frustrating when you are getting so close to that point, but you're dealing with an injury that typically takes a little bit more time than you're allotted in this circumstance? Yeah, you know, we train, we practice and all that to, you know, be in these moments. And anytime you can't be out there to help your team, it's, it's tough, so. How would you evaluate the way the season's gone? You guys had so many things happen off the court to start the year, and then you have the mid-season trade. It, it just felt like one thing after the other in terms yeah, of Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot, you know. Um, but uh, we we all know we came up short. You know what I mean? So we got to regroup, see what's next. Chris, with all your time, like, how do you approach days like today so, you know, with the good buys and everyone knowing the uncertainty an offseason brings for every team? Um, always tough. Uh, spent a lot of time together with everybody here, and everybody's been amazing. So um, you learn to control what you can control in these situations, and be be grateful for the for the opportunity. You mentioned coming up short. Do you still view the season as a success, or how do you view the season from your perspective? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I definitely get a chance to play basketball every day. So that's my way of life. <laughs> that's it. That's a blessing. You know what I mean? So. Uh, like I said, we gotta we gotta regroup and see what's next. Chris, in what areas do you guys need to improve for next season? You know, it's funny you do these interviews one day after you know the season. You ain't even had time to analyze what's what's what. You know what I mean? So I think we'll take some time, you know, and figure figure all that stuff out. After the trade was made, did it feel rushed to try to make it work? I don't know, the one, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's, I know y'all got a job to do or whatever and all this stuff. But like right now, it's just you trying to figure out. Like I'm trying to figure out. I'm getting back to LA for my son's tournament this weekend. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So. What well, about your saying. season? You had injury early, came back injury late. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's it's part of professional sports. You know what I mean? And. It happens. Unfortunately, you don't want it to. You know what I mean? You who? You do I now? Yeah, I'm retired. I'm oh, okay, 71. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I used right. to. I used right. to. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you, it, if it happens, you try to heal up as fast as possible when you get back at it. That's what I think. You know, I'm trying to do and what anybody trying to do. But it's frustrating for you, I imagine. I mean, you definitely not happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how, do you, how do you prepare for going through it another year and trying to get your body right? Just do it. <laughs> Does it get harder as you get older? How do you how do you manage the training? Uh, I don't know if it gets harder as you get older. I mean, uh, how old are you? Forty something, forty five. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, I, I mean, like I said, I'm grateful. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of people who would love to be in this situation. You know, to be able to play basketball every day. I'm 38 years old, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can call it what you want to, but I come in, I work hard every single day, you know what I mean? And I'm not gonna act like I'm here by luck or something like that, right? Like I put the work in and put the work in for a long time. And so you can analyze, say whatever you want to about it. But for me, it's not hard because it's the work and not everybody want to do the work. A lot of people want to talk about it and analyze it and do this and do that about it. but all I do is put my head down and do the work, and when you do that, I can I can live with the results. What you've seen. Down this season, what's been the biggest blessing for you just being with this team? Oh man, just the group of guys that we had. You know what I'm saying? I I mean I I can't explain to y'all like for Monty, I played for him 11, 12 years ago to reconnect with him for the last three years. Uh, Devin, who has been just amazing to learn from, to play aside with, play aside from him. Uh, so many different guys on the team I could talk about. Josh Kogi, who played in my AAU program and is now my teammate, you know what I mean? So uh, all the different ties within the team, you know, and then KD, who I've known since he was probably like 14, 15, you know, I was working a five-star camp for music and now we teammates and getting a chance to play with that greatness. So. Uh, I keep saying it over again. I, I get to play basketball every day and say that's my way of life, you know, and 
get to play it at a high level. You know, no, nothing to those that hoop at, you know, the lunchtime runs and stuff. That's cool. I, I, I may do it at some point, but I get to play basketball in the NBA every day right now, so I'm, I'm grateful. Chris, you saw the book's start of his postseason career, and just to see the playoff performances that he was putting up this year, what was, what was that like for you? I mean, I expected it. You know, I know, I know who Devin is at the core. You know what I mean? So I think the hardest part for me was not being able to be out there and help him in those situations. But um, Book knows, he knows me. He knows where my heart is. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, we got to keep figuring it out. You mentioned, putting in the, you mentioned putting in the work. How was that different for you this year? Obviously, spending a little bit more time off the ball and kind of adjusting to a different goal. It was, it was cool. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, you don't play 18 years in this league at a high level and not understand how to adjust and adapt with the game. I, I've been in this NBA a lot longer than some of the people have been covering it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I remember when the game ended in 80 to 85 scores. You know what I mean? So I don't talk about it too much, but I know this game just got better than anybody. You know what I mean? I put that up against anybody. So um, that's what's not going to change. Right, it's my knowledge of the game, and I'm gonna keep putting in the work. You know what I mean? So, if you're mad at it, if you hate it, that's on you. <laughs> Fuck it. You, you expect me back next year? Um, do I what? You expect me back here next year? My contract not up, but I, you know what I mean. Unfortunately, I'm not the the GM or anything like that. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Chris. Appreciate it. Appreciate you.